Just a little bit of a warning, this video is not meant for children and does contain mature humor. Parental guidance is suggested. Hi, okay, I um, kind of live, <laughs> live in an apartment building now. Probably shouldn't be shouting at 9 o'clock in the morning. There is something going on in America right now, and you know the person is serious when they're clapping for every syllable in their sentence. A couple months ago in America, you guys lost one of the best places on earth, the place where happiness is born for all of the children across the world, and that is I don't know how to I don't know how to actually do that. I'm not religious, and I'm basically saying that Toys R Us is Jesus Christ right now. You guys lost Toys R Us, and being that it is Christmas time right now, tons of kids across the planet are not going to get the toys that they deserve even though Amazon, you can buy anything on Amazon and you really don't need Toys R Us anymore. So... But in Canada, we still have Toys R Us, and if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I am a retired toy reviewer. I used to review all the toys on the planet, and you that was your guys' favorite content that I get asked about all the time. And being that Christmas is right around the corner, um, why did I start choking myself midway through this freaking city? <laughs> Because Christmas is right around the corner, I thought, why don't I go to Toys R Us, bring my camera with me, we can walk around for a bit, and we are going to grab the best toys and the most advertised toys they have there for Christmas. I'm going to take all those toys, open them up, use them, and tell you guys what is the best Christmas toy to buy this Christmas. I am very much fit for the role of deciding what the best toy for a 5 to 10 year old is, because if you guys look at me, I have the face and body of a 23 year old, but up here, there's really not that much going on. Guys, have you ever noticed how bananas just look like big dick? I mean, I completed all of my education. <laughs> I even went to college. But of course, I um, dropped out. So. But of course, I- You know what? I'm wondering if this will fit right up my- and quickly before we head to Toys R Us, I have a little bit of a challenge for you guys. Right here I have a present that I got for my sister and what I want you to do is leave it in the comment section down below what you think is inside this present. In my next video that's probably going to be coming out around Christmas time, I'm going to show you guys what was in here and show my sister opening it and everybody who guesses it right in the comments will get a shout out in the next video. And if you are new and you want to see if you are right about that present, be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications and join the D Squad. now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go and grab these gifts. <laughs> but um, before we do that, I kind of forgot I have to uh, take a poo. So um, now we're going to Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us. I, this, it was a long one. Okay, what can I? I'm sorry. Okay, let's just cut. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. For a Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's um. Busy, okay, to say the least. You know what? At this point, I really wish we could lay go to another store. Am I right? <laughs> she knows what I mean. Don't these freaking people have anything better to do on a Monday morning than come to freaking Toys R Us to shop for their freaking dumb kids who probably only love them for the toys they're gonna get them anyway? I mean, at least I'm here for a reason to get views and make money. Creepiest thing you'll ever see in your entire life. The creepiest thing you'll ever see. What the f is that? The creepiest thing ever. I hit hard and I hit often. You talk big, but I deliver big. Be sure to kick that like button down below right now, or I'm gonna punch you in the dick. <laughs> 50,000 likes and I won't do it. <laughs> Nowadays, they actually seem to have a lot more toys. Like, I don't remember any of these when I was a kid, and if they had these around when I was a kid... The journey to Starbucks! I just said Starbucks. Guys, I actually stopped drinking Starbucks coffee, and I started making my own coffee at home, because I realized, hey, I can save about $300 a month if by just going, instead of going to Starbucks, I just went to um, Derek's Coffee, the one coffee that will not give your mom diarrhea. But, 
But down here, and the first toy we have right here is the LOL Surprise Doll. The LOL Surprise Doll is something I have seen in numerous YouTube videos, toy stores, Amazon, Ryan's Toy Review does it. Speaking of Ryan's Toy Review, hold on, I gotta go into this room right here, give me a sec. Ryan's Toy Review has his own toy set, guys. There are about six different items of Ryan's Toy Review toys, and I want to see if they are good or bad. And if you guys want to see that in a video, get this video to 50,000 likes, and I will make a video reviewing all of Ryan's Toys Review's toys. Let's just quickly see what's in this one. We got a little Super Ryan holding a weight with the number 1,000 on it, and I don't think that represents the weight. I think that represents the millions of dollars he has made on YouTube. So that's thousands of millions and the cape just it broke. So the LOL surprise doll costs us $50 and um don't know how we're gonna okay hopefully this isn't an issue okay yep oh that's not the problem I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to do it. Apparently there are 15 surprises in here um how many pet babies? Two two or um two or three. Excuse me why? How many pet babies? Two or three. Um, don't know, maybe maybe mystery food babies? That's, that's like when I eat too much McDonald's and my stomach like is here and it's like I have a food baby, but like, I don't, it's never a mystery. All right, so let's see what the 15, let's see, let's see what, let's, let's see what our 15 surprises are. First of all, we have a little pair of glasses with a little, um, uh, sling on a dong a ling a ding dong attached to it. All right, now let's open this. Here we have this little carrying case, and I think you just. Is this really gonna be a problem for the entire video? Okay, there we go. Nope. Um, uh, th there we didn't go. All right. So inside here, we have. Oh, job. Okay, inside the LOL surprise egg, which uh, in reality is not really a surprise egg, considering um, you can see right through it. Now is this like a hat? There's this thing that has um, a leash on it for some reason, and it also has a big hole in its head. Oh, and it has a um, little butthole that we can open up right here. I guess inside this guy's butt, he ate all the surprises, so we gotta just pull those out. Maybe he can just poop them out. If he why did they why did they put it inside this thing? How did he get this in his butt? This is huge! There's just a there's not this says free puppies on it? There was not a puppy inside of its butt. Thank god, this feels so wrong. I'm literally just like freaking digging for gold inside this little thing's freaking bum. What's with all this stuff having green poop inside? I'm just gonna you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna open What is this? Why did this What in the apps? Why was there a puppy in case it- Oh God, is that So each of these little surprise things have this inside with the sand. And you take the sand out, and then once you open up the sand, there is, um, there's a little guy inside the sand. So after a lot of hard work, dedication, and Derek figuring out what to do. Hey Lynn, if you could um, just send Billy over to my house, that would be amazing, because I have this like lol surprise toy surprise thing, and I have no fucking idea what to do with it, and I'm freaking out. This is every single thing that came out of the lol surprise toy, and if I was a little kid, this would be awesome. If I was a parent, this would be my worst nightmare, because uh, my kid is gonna choke on this, he's gonna eat this sand and probably get some sort of disease. But as a toy for a kid, this is actually pretty awesome. It came with a bunch of stuff. I actually turned my little um, thing here into a trap queen, and good thing it has a leash and I can take it out in the town with me. Now let's go and grab the next toy. Come on, baby, come on, let's go! <laughs> the next toy that was selling out like crazy, I actually got the last one, just happened to be a um, for real friends toy. <laughs> so apparently this guy responds with 50 different sounds and motions and also the real big seller for me on this one is that you can record voice clips and he will repeat them back to you. So maybe it won't be as annoying if he's just repeating things that I have said because it's not like I'm a loud obnoxious YouTuber who is probably ruining everyone's lives in this apartment building right now. <laughs> 
Dahlia, there's no, uh, there's no one home. Yeah, Polly out of the box. We got the instructions. And uh, did I forget to mention the $120? Okay, let's just forget that I ever said that because. <laughs> Woo! So, jokes and imitations. Four double. Hunt? No. You're not gonna tell me. $120 gets you no. $120 gets you no batteries. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Polly. Now I gotta go out to the freaking store and buy three. Freaking battle! Oh my god, this always freaking happens. And it was at this moment that Derek was so angry that he forgot he had already bought batteries. <laughs> Okay, if you don't shut up, you're gonna be going to the garbage can in a second. Wanna hear a joke? No! Okay, buddy. Hey. Squawk! 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 Are you, are you good? Okay, buddy. Oh, buddy bird! Yep. You're okay, yeah! Hey, wanna hear a joke? Why did a spider go onto his laptop? To visit his website! Oh my. Buddy, okay, are you ready? Are, are you ready to? Are you ready to record some voice notes, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Say it! I love bitches in my butt! I love When you turn them off, it resets. Say it! Subscribe and join the D Squad! Subscribe and join the D Squad! Okay, we, at least we know. Subscribe and join the D Squad! Okay. Hey, okay, can you please. Ah, Polly? Okay, Polly! I've been trying to film the outro to your section for five minutes. This fist is gonna be here. If you interrupt me one more time, it's gonna smack you in the face, okay? Um, we're about to close up. Give me a chance. Just please shut the f up, Polly. That's all I'm asking. Just please shut the f up, Polly. <laughs> That's all what I was Is there anything you want to say to the D squad before we put you away, Polly? Your video sucked, my hairy ball sack, Derry. I was six, afraid of seven. Because your parents abandoned you and you know one loves you, Polly! The next thing we have here is a Fortnite chest that I got from Toys R Us. This was $20 after tax for this little toy. So I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but I've played enough to know the basis of all the items. So let's see if this is actually something that a Fortnite fan would like, because if it's actually cool, this would be the hottest gift to get in this holiday season. But $20 for something like this is not cheap. Now, at the bottom they have a little QR code here that you can get some free items. So whoever the lucky person to first scan this is, you're gonna get some free stuff. If you guys can scan that, go ahead. I bought two of them just to see if they come with different things like the actual chests in Fortnite. Let's open this up and oh, baby. see if it's actually cool. So the first thing we have here are two wooden, I'm pretty sure this is the I'm pretty sure this is the fucking worst thing in Fortnite is the wood. Here, this is the bulk of all the stuff. So, this is so lame. So we got a blue grenade launcher. I think this is a submachine gun. I'm not too sure. If you guys could leave it in the comments, that would be amazing. Two purple desert eagles, I think. And this is a legendary assault rifle. And we have a backpack. So that is everything that came in the chest. And you also, of course, get to keep the chest, which I think is the coolest part. I feel like the only thing kids really want for Christmas this year is V-Bucks anyway. But like, pa Polly, what do you want for Christmas this year? <laughs> So let's see if they're all the same. Okay, we got two pieces of wood. 
And okay, no, they are a little bit different. And here is all the stuff we got from the second one. So honestly, is it worth 20 bucks? Maybe just to buy one if you're a Fortnite fan to get this little chest that you can put on your desk. Otherwise, I, for me, it is not worth the money at all. On to the next toy we go. I've been wait, recording this video for way too long. It's been about three hours. If the lol surprise was not big enough of a mess and Polly wasn't loud and annoying enough, the next thing I got, I wanted to hit every single different type of toy. We have the drum cymbal set. Uh, if you want to get your kid into music and you also want to eventually want to murder your child, this is the perfect toy for that. This was only $40, which when you compare that to two of these little Fortnite things, they were the same price. trying to figure out how this strap works. This is the best I could do, and um, I kind of have to just beat on my, you know, my, uh, I'm beating my is what I'm trying. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, let here, here we go, ready? I feel like that's not, that is not how you play the drums. I think the best way to test this drum is by me playing the drums and Polly singing. You ready, Polly? You're not ready. Um. At least now, at least now I can do the drum rolls. Sh Paul, Polly, you know, be quiet. At least now I can do the drum roll sound effect live, and I know Polly has to tell you guys something. So here it is. Ready? But not least, again, I wanted to get toys from every different kind of toy, so I got a board game, and that is Hot Tub High Dive. So this game is kind of like pie face, but instead of whipped cream, what happens is like this fat guy. Okay, I don't want to call him. Fat. A fat guy jumps into water and makes a mess. I couldn't have said it better myself. A fat guy jumps into water and makes a mess. Okay, so the game is all set up. We're gonna see if this thing actually works and if it's actually fun how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna play and I'm gonna play again But because I have no friends that are in the country right now because I only have one friend and my sister and they're both busy I'm gonna play again, but as you got so you spin the spinner right here And it landed on one which means you have to push down on the button once there is some soap being formed on the inside So that was your guys' turn now. It's my turn. I got a two, so I'm gonna stand in front of it just in case it goes off and go one, two. Okay, and it's actually pretty cool how the soap is being formed. I didn't think it would actually work. One, two, three. Okay, what we're trying to avoid is this guy getting to the top. So far, this is actually pretty fun. Okay, imagine how fun it would be if I actually had a friend here. <laughs> All right, now you guys got a three, ready? One, two, three. Just a, oh, that's a two, that's definitely a two. Oh God, he's getting close to the top, ready? One, two, oh jeez. All right, this is your guys, ready? One, one, oh. <sighs> Derek's coffee. It'll make you just almost as crazy as me right now. Goodbye. Oh, one, a one, one, oh. Geez. Your guys' turn. One, here we go, ready? Oh! You know what? That was actually pretty cool. All it really left is um, what looks, I'm not even gonna talk about what it looks like on my arm. If I was a kid playing this with a bunch of my friends, that would honestly be a fun game. If I was gonna pick one of these toys that is the best that I would recommend to a parent or a kid to buy for themselves or their child, I would definitely say the best toy we had today was Polly. Definitely the most annoying toy, but he has a bunch of cool functions. If budget is important to you, Polly is not gonna be the one for you. I would say go for the LOL surprise one, because that was only 50 bucks, or this toy right here, which I'm pretty sure was only 20. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more of these kind of videos from me, there are tons of toys out there. I could totally get another lineup done and ready for you guys, maybe even before Christmas, but that all depends if you guys wanna see it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Always remember the motto of and we will see you all in the next video on a fantastic day. All right, see ya. Bye! Being that Christmas is right around the corner, I thought...
why don't I fart and, have, and be disgusted? That, I'm so fucking gross. All right, so next up, next up on the list, next up on the list, next up, next up on the list, and the next toy that is very, the next toy, the next toy that. Okay, maybe we can.